Covering Democracy 2010, two men vying for governor went head-to-head -head for the first time in a debate last night. Republicans Rick Scott and Bill McCollum didn't waste any time attacking each other. And both men made similar promises. They'll create new jobs, back tougher immigration laws, and improve education standards. Education is clearly for the benefit of children. And everything we think about with regard to education policy has to be what's good for our children. So what's good for children is we need to make sure that we get the best teachers. You get the best teachers by paying the best. So you have to have a measurement program that's fair to teachers and fair to our students. Finally, we have got to give parents the right to choose where their children go. If we do that, the parents, they will figure out the best schools and they will take care of our children the best. And part of what I'm doing in my plan that's up on the website, which you can find, I haven't seen Mr. Scott's plan yet on his, is to lay out how I would go about improving our schools. First, with merit pay for teachers. Second, with phasing out tenure for new teachers, particularly. And third, creating more choice in the system, which is very important for us to do. When talking about the controversial Arizona immigration law and whether it should come to Florida, things got a bit more heated. Let me set the record straight. I favor the Arizona immigration law. I filed in court to defend that law for a constitutional attack by President Obama. Mr. Scott has been manipulating my words. He has been telling lies about my record all over television with his millions of dollars of personal wealth. And now he's doing it again tonight before you in television. I want you to know that I have fought throughout my career against illegal immigration, against amnesty. But I've also stood beside my friends like Ileana ross Layton and, and Lincoln Diaz-Balart, and I've fought for legal immigration the right way. We have a lot of wonderful legal immigrants here. I've always stood for the Cuban Adjustment Act, and I'll continue to fight for it as your governor. I've stood for those things where you have people who fled from tyranny in other countries and said we ought to give them asylum here. But I'm against illegal immigration, always have been, am in favor of the Arizona law. As, as it's been amended, and I will stand by it as long as I'm here, and I'm not going to agree, of course, with Mr. Scott's Mr. characterizations Scott. of me. We've got to create an economic barrier to people coming to our country and taking the jobs from legal, from coming to our country illegally and taking the jobs from legal immigrants. And that's why we need the Arizona law. We also need to use a Verify, a free service, so employers can check to see if someone's legal or not. But. And the reason all this is happening is because our federal government has failed to secure our borders. Now, when the, when the law came out, first my opponent said he was, it was far out. And then he says, well, it's good for Arizona, but not good for Florida. And lately in the last week, now he says it's good for Florida. McCollum and Scott are scheduled to debate at least two more times, including this Saturday in Miami. Scott has yet to decide if he'll participate in a live, unscripted debate hosted by the Leadership Florida and Press Association that is scheduled to be held August 11th.